everybody, it's the Gekki here, welcome back to another Transformers review, and today, I finally got Kingdom of Pipes, yes, finally, a figure I've been very looking forward to, uh, for a very, very, very long time, very looking forward to, that was interesting, um, but before we take a look at the figure, let me take a quick look at the packaging for you guys here, here is the box, you can see we have pipes right there, pretty cool little box, you know, I always like the Kingdom artwork, and on the back, you've got some nice shots right there, so it's pretty cool, and the card I got is, unfortunately, Black Arachnia, I need a Unicron card, I have every other card, Card besides Unicron, and I don't even have like a single Unicron, so I don't have any of the fate reveals. And this is uh, Dark Arachne as well, and I already have the Dark Arachne as well. In fact, I'll bring in my my card collection here to show you that I do in fact have. Uh I do have I think all of the Black Arachnias. I think. Oh, actually, did I not have a a stickered Black Arachnia? If I didn't have a stickered Black... Oh, no, I did. I did. Okay, but um, I had a dark... I thought I had a dark Arachnia. Maybe I didn't have a dark Arachnia. Could have sworn I did. Buh, 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 buh. Well, apparently I didn't. Okay, so I guess this isn't actually horrible, because I can take that off, and now I have... That card. Well, that's good, actually. I guess I, I guess I must have watched a review from, uh, someone else's channel and then must have put in my head that I had the Dark Arachnia card. So, I'm actually not too mad about that now. Um, but, uh, let's go ahead and jump into Pipes now. And, uh, here he is. This is Kingdom Pipes. Very cool. Now, uh, I will admit that I don't think that making Pipes a retool of, uh, of Huffer was maybe the best move because he's really not supposed to be a retool of Huffer. If you look at Pipes in the, uh, animation model, he does not really look all that much like Huffer. He does look like vaguely similar, but he also has wheels up here and on his on his arms he has wheels up here. Um, and of course the the hood thing, which they did do a pretty good job. We will talk about that. They did do a pretty good job of trying to mimic his uh, his his uh, animation model. But in general, he's not really supposed to be a retool of Huffer. And I'll just go ahead and bring in Kingdom Huffer right now, so you can see how they look together. And yeah, they look fantastic next to each other. Very very nice. Very very nice. Um, but I, I do think maybe we could have gotten a better pipes if they had given us a new mold however this is what they gave us and i'm very much not dissatisfied i think i do think overall he's a pretty good figure now i'm gonna pop his uh guns off here for a second because technically these are accessories so we can jump in here on the figure taking a look at the head sculpt and it looks pretty good if you ask me i like the dark blue they used on it although i'm having a hard time focusing there we go there's our there's our pipes boy. Very, very nice. They remolded the head sculpt completely. It is not the same head sculpt from Huffer. They remolded the entire torso bit. You can see the whole torso is remolded on pipes. The arms are also remolded on pipes. You can see this is what Huffer looks like and this is what pipes looks like. A lot more smoother. I'm very glad that they decided to uh, retool so many things about um, Huffer. They did uh, no retooling to the legs. The legs are the same. But yeah, very nice that they retooled the arms, the torso, and of course gave him the new head. Now, another thing they did is the backpack here. Now, you actually have some options for the backpack here. You can either leave it like this, or you can bring it up like this, which is a little more accurate to uh, G1. Honestly, though, I don't really love the way this looks. I feel like um, I feel like it should be a little higher up, and then it would be more G1 accurate. And as that, and as that, and as you can't get it up like that, I feel like bringing it back like that is definitely the the nicest uh, the nicest look. Of course, you can also. This is actually the one uh, piece of transformation they actually added to the figure you can actually rotate this piece around on on uh, pipes here and if you wanted to you could give him the same back that uh, that Huffer has right there I don't know why you want to waste that new transformation joint they gave you just to do that but it is uh, accurate to the G1 toy so if you wanted to have a more G1 accurate toy pipes uh, you could do that but me personally I will absolutely be sticking with the default way like that I definitely think that is very 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 nice although I would think I do think this could have been handled a little bit better this piece is a lot less fun to uh, to move on this guy like there's a lot of like it feels like there's a lot of resistance on this piece, especially compared to Huffer, because Huffer's, Huffer's just comes right out, man. You can just move his Huffer's around all day, but this dude, this one actually feels like, and it keeps wanting to untab this piece as well. This piece keeps wanting to untab right there, and that's not the case on Huffer. You can see you, this thing comes out way before the torso untabs. You can see this. Oh, well, there you go, but still, I mean, like, showing you again, if I grab him by the torso here, and I pull this piece out, this piece comes out before the torso does, so yeah, but on pipes here, 
you can see if you grab him like this, the the torso comes right out. So that could just be on mine. That could be a, a, a your mileage may vary uh, type dealio. But on mine, I do wish that this had tabbed in a little bit better. I probably could do something about it if I thickened up this with some super glue. It would probably lock in a little bit better. But honestly, I'm not that worried about it. It's not that big a deal. I I don't think it's uh I don't think it's really worth uh getting all worked up about. But yeah, they look pretty good together, man. I really really like the way they look together. So very cool. Um, accessory wise, you do only get the cannons, but the cannons are pretty cool, and you can of course plug these right onto his arms. And honestly, he does not look complete without these cannons, man. That is just pipes right there. That is pipes. That looks absolutely excellent, man. I love the way he looks with these shoulder with these uh with these um not shoulder cannons, uh forearm cannons. Very cool, man. And they actually gave you some pretty cool things you can do with these cannons here. You can plug a blast effect into there, and then you can also plug a blast effect back here as if it's like blasting out from both sides right there, which I think is kind of cool. I think that's pretty cool if you ask me. That looks pretty darn, that looks pretty darn cool if you ask me. Like, I can dig it. I can absolutely dig it, man. That, that looks cool. Let me, uh, let's bring this piece back here and then plug that in there. Yeah, that is pretty darn cool, man. Oh, man, that's fucking dope, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, you can have some fun with these uh, pipe accessories. Very cool. I definitely like that they included that little nub on the back where you can, like, add, like, a, like a blast effect going out. I do really, really like that. The articulation is the exact same as Huffer, so if you have Huffer, you know what to expect. You have 90 degrees at the arms. Actually, he has a little bit less than 90 degrees at the arms. Is that the same on Huffer? Yeah, that is. So Huffer also has less than 90 degrees. I never actually noticed that. I never noticed that Huffer had less than 90 degrees. But yeah, you do have a little bit less than 90 degrees. Not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. Arms go out pretty well. You got a ball joint at the head. Uh, legs go forward, back, same as Huffer. You got a more than 90 degree bend on the knees thanks to the transformation. And you do have an ankle pivot right there. This guy obviously does suffer from the same issues that Huffer does where he does have very uh, hollow backs and just overall feels a little more hollow than your average Transformer figure like this. You can see you have some hollowness down there. There is some gap fillers out there. Um, there is some upgrade kits. One that I've been really, that I really do want, but the upgrade kit, like the big one that you're thinking of that fills in all these gaps, is like the same price as Kingdom Huffer. And at that point, you're paying like, you're paying like double the price of the figure. And I don't know, man. I don't really know if that's, uh, if that's really, really worth it. So, uh, I don't know. That's just me personally. If you want to get the upgrade kits, obviously that is on you. But, uh, overall, I would say I do like Pipes quite a bit. I'm not sure if I like him more or less than Huffer. I like both of them about equally, I would say. I really love Kingdom Huffer. He did have to grow on me, but now that he has, I absolutely love Kingdom Huffer. I'm always taking this guy off the shelf. He is just tons of fun. And I will say, even though I can't pick which one I like more, I definitely think Huffer has the more fun accessories. I like the Spartan laser that he comes with. I like the shield, and I like the way that you can uh, store these in the alt mode. So I do think he has the better accessories, although... To be honest, there's something about the plastic on pipes that does feel a little more satisfying. I'm not sure what it is. It just feels a little glossier, a little slicker. I'm not sure exactly what it is. Even on the arms as well, the arms just feel a lot more, uh, a lot more smoother on, um, on, uh, pipes here. I don't know. Just overall, it feels a little nicer, I think. I actually think you might feel, he actually feels a little bit heavier too. I think they might have used some higher quality plastic on, uh, pipes, but Kingdom Huffer is still pretty good. Now, before we jump into transformation, for a uh, comparison, I'm going to bring in some other Kingdom Deluxes here. Here he is with Warpath and Trax. Very, very nice. Really love Kingdom Trax. I've been playing with him a little bit lately, and I don't know, man. I don't understand why everybody hates this figure. I think he is still pretty darn good. Not perfect, but I do think he's pretty good. And then Warpath is absolutely awesome. But yeah, very cool. You can see how he scales with another mini bot, and also bring in uh, Kingdom Huffer back in. And I'll also bring in the Bumblebee as well as the Cliff Jumper as well. So you can see how our mini bots are looking so far. Yeah, they look really good together. Isn't this, isn't this awesome, man? Oh man, mini bots. I really want them to keep going with this. I want a brawn. I want a beachcomber. I really want them to keep going with these because I really like these deluxe class mini bots. I think these figures are awesome. Not one of these I think is a, is a dud. I think all of these are very, very, very good. And, uh, I definitely want them to keep going, man. Just really cool to have like these micro
micro masterpiece versions of these uh, of these mini bots characters, especially like especially like uh, Pipes, uh, Huffer, and uh, Warpath. I definitely think these three quite outshine the uh, the Cliff Jumper, the Earthquake Cliff Jumper mold, but um, still a good mold. Just I think I think I do like uh, like these three a little bit more. But there you go. Those are that comparison. And for one more comparison, here he is, of course, with Earthrise Optimus Prime as well. So they have that comparison as well. So you can see how he looks with his noble leader. And one more, just for fun, I I did this yesterday. Here he is with Ultra Bumblebee. <laughs> this is Bumblebee uh, armored up by fucking uh, Brunt. I don't know. I just did this yesterday. I have no idea why, but I kind of love it. <laughs> I kind of love this, honestly. So yeah, they have that as well, just so I can show that. But uh, there you have it. That is all of our comparisons. Go ahead and transform him. Now, obviously, it's the exact same as Kingdom Hover. You're going to pop all these accessories off, of course. You want to clip the legs together, just like so. You want to bring the feet all the way around and peg them in place, just like that, to make the bed of the truck. You want to go ahead to the back here, and you want to bring this piece down, and then rotate it around, just like so. You want to bring the arms this way, and then bring them down on this on this hinge system right here. Bring that down. Then you want to fold the torso out, and you want to flip the wheels out on both sides, just like this. At this point, you can bring the torso bit back up, lock it in place, bring the arms up, and then you have a tab and a slot on the arms here that you will tab in on both sides, just like that. You can rotate the arms, bring the hands down on both sides. You rotate the arm, bring the hand down on both sides, bring this piece down, and you can see you have a tab that will go into a slot on both sides. Bring that down. Get that in there and then get those tabs nice and secure right there a little bit a little bit more difficult to do on this pipe on pipes than it is on hover hovers a little bit easier and finally take the back and bring them in and you have these two pegs right here that will go you have these two ports right here that will go into these teeny tiny pegs right there so you're just going to peg those right there and there you have kingdom pipes you can now store the weapons on the back just like this and there you have the truck mode for kingdom pipes now, unfortunately, Kingdom Pipes suffers from the same problem that Huffer had in his all mode, and I say had because on mine on my huffer, it is actually fixed because I did something to my huffer that I am now going to do to uh, pipes here. And that thing is you might find this a little bit, uh, a little bit cringy. To but it worked really well on Huffer, so I'm gonna do it to my pipes as well. You can see these two pegs back here. These pegs are just too long, and the way I'm talking about here that I'm trying to fix is the fact that if you have pipes like this, you can see there is just way too much breakup in it. It looks like someone took the truck and snapped it in half and then bent it upwards. You can see my pipes, uh, my Huffer, does not have this issue because on this one, I have ripped those pegs off and they are now nubbins, and now they don't really tab in all that much they still tab in but now they tab in a lot better and they make him look a lot nicer overall so now i'm going to do the same thing at two pipes This one is being a, a bit of a troublemaker. This peg just does not want to go. Get out of here, man. You're ruining this figure. There we go. Oh, still there. There we go. That was a tricky little bugger. But now that we've done that, fold this back. Tab in. And just like on Huffer, much better. Well, actually, still a little bit... Still a little bit much. Let me see if I can make it a little bit better. There we go. I did a little bit more. Let's see if that makes it a little bit better. And yes, it does. There you have it. Thanks to this fix, you now have a much nicer and much more streamlined truck mode, just like on Huffer. So there you go. That's how you fix that issue. Super easy. Don't even worry about it. It still tabs in. You can see I can hold it like this and it still tabs in. This is actually how this figure should have been designed from the beginning. These tabs should have been so much smaller because now that you've done this, you can now clip this in, bring it down, and it looks so much better than how it looked uh, in the stock configuration. So there you have that all fixed. Now the truck mode is exactly the same as Huffer. You can see you have some nice silver pick down for the grill right there. All very nice. Some translucent plastic right there. You have these same pegs that have on Huffer and you have the same hands sticking out on the back. My one issue with this mold, I hate these hands sticking out on the back, man. That is lazy and I really wish they could have done something more than just that. That is my one issue with this mold as a whole is the freaking hands just sitting on the back. That's the one thing I just don't like about it. 
Now you can store the weapons back here like I showed earlier. You plug them in right there and there you go. Very nice and very stored. However, if you wanted to, you could also keep them plugged into the forearms. And if you do this, you won't have to parts form them when you transform him. So that is pretty cool and it will make him look like this in truck mode. I don't love the way this looks, but it does kind of look like, like giant smokestacks. But I don't personally like this. But if you wanted to do it, this is what it will look like. So I did want to show you what it looked like if you are interested in, uh, in doing this with pipes. But me personally, I will definitely be taking them off and plugging them on to the back here. And of course, just like Huffer, you can have him take on uh, Optimus Prime's trailer right there if you wanted to as well. And that is very cool, just like on Huffer. Um, I will say on pipes here, it looks like these wheels don't really want to actually tab into their spot. You can see they're kind of splayed out a little more, like they don't want to tab into this spot right there. And that actually makes him a little bit more difficult to roll. You can see on pipes on uh, Huffer here, Huffer is perfectly tabbed in place and these front wheels roll absolutely perfectly. You can see right there, the front wheels are very nice. But on pipes here these don't want to tab in so they don't really roll as well which that is honestly a little bit disappointing and i cannot get them to tab in so that is a flaw with this figure wow okay that is a little bit disappointing it's not the biggest of deals it still rolls just fine it just doesn't roll nearly as well as huffer but yeah, this is going to be a genuine flaw with this figure. These uh, wheels do not want to tab into their spot right there. So that's a little bit unfortunate. Maybe if they're playing, I'll be able to fix it. But uh, yeah, for comparison, I'll bring it back in Huffer here. There we go. So there you have the boys together. Very, very nice. I really do like both of these figures a lot. Although, I think with this, uh, with this wheel issue, I have to go ahead and say that Huffer is certainly the better, uh, version of the mold. I mean, I think the accessories are better. Uh, I think the, uh, in, in robot mode, he's more solid to play with because his torso doesn't want to untab as easily. And in vehicle mode, his wheels actually tab in here and actually roll very nicely as opposed to pipes here, which these just do not, uh, these just do not tab in place. And as such, it makes him not as fun to play with. So, uh, yeah, I definitely think Huffer is definitely the better use, but Pipes is by no means bad at all, and I actually think the robot mode might actually be a little bit better than uh, than Huffer. So in ways, in ways, I think they both have their advantages, but I think overall the better toy would definitely have to be Huffer, but there you have them in truck mode. And for another comparison, here is Bug Bite, so you can see how he looks with the uh, Earthrise Cliff Jumper mold, and here he is with Siege Sideswipe right there, so you can get a basic sense of the scale of the figure, so there you go. So overall thoughts on Kingdom Pipes, I think he's great. I think he is very nice. I really, really like him. I really love the Huffer mold. Although I think as nice as he is, and I definitely do really like him, I definitely think in terms of who wears the mold better, it's definitely going to have to go to Huffer here. And I honestly don't think there's any competition here. We have a character that's really not supposed to be a remold of this character. He's really not supposed to be a, a the same the the same kind of like uh, proportions as this character. Um, but so I definitely definitely think obviously Huffer wears the mold a lot better than uh than Pipes but Pipes is definitely a solid remold if you ask me like I definitely think he is worth getting especially since Pipes is a very rare character we do not get Pipes very often uh in uh in Transformers so it's really nice to have a new one and I think they knocked you out of the park honestly I mean I really really like him obviously a few minor little issues here and there like those wheels in uh like those wheels in vehicle mode the fact that the torso does not really tab in place all that well but on Honestly, minor things, very minor things. I mean, this dude looks cool, transformed good, alt mode looks good, fun to play with, fun to pose. Really like him. Definitely another very solid deluxe in the Kingdom line. So there you have it, everybody. Let's go ahead and award Kingdom Pipes here with a nice A tier. I definitely think this figure is worth being in your collection. Very, very nice. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, maybe give me a like and subscribe for more Transformer reviews in the future. And with that being said, this is DK Guillotine. Signing out.